in reality, this is just how I think about a Cardi single. This is Cardi B. I like the single. I think Cardi got to keep the momentum with the music going. She had something with WAP and she felt bad. If this song had dropped three months after instead of like, it felt like damn near a year after, or it's really like six or seven months after, we would feel there's more momentum. Cardi to me is a package deal. You know, you gonna get the whole thing in terms of like, yeah, we do know she probably she has help with getting her music together, but Atlantic and everybody else has a lot of incentive to make sure her shit is gonna be packaged right. So I felt they packaged WAP together right. They had the right feature, they did all the crazy numbers. That shit was doing six nine numbers on YouTube. Then they stopped. I don't know why. Now they're coming with this. They have to keep going. You get me? Somebody says she sucks. I don't think Cardi sucks. I think Cardi appeals for a particular audience. And I'm not mad at that song. That song to me, I kind of like better than WAP. This Up song, I like better than WAP. When is Uzi dropping? Don't you got... Well, first of all, he just dropped a um, joint album with Future. But is Uzi the only artist for the last, like, couple of years, especially a newer artist, that we haven't felt that dropped a miss or a dud that he had to rush out another project? The closest, he came, closest thing he came to it was um, Eternal Take, and he dropped the Deluxe, which made everybody feel good. But if you look at Yachty, I felt like, you know... The, the cachet about him has kind of been diminished because some people thought he missed here and there. Like, name another artist other than Uzi from 2017 that I ain't missed. I want y'all to do that. Like, I think Uzi has done a good job of making people feel like he hasn't missed. I think Cardi is, you know, like some people are looking at this project as a miss and we're going to see how he deals with that. But name another artist. Somebody says 21. I'll give you that. 21. 21 is great and that's why I do think that 21 is able to do what 21 does in terms of he's putting out music every couple of years and also every time it comes out people like it because he's not flooding the market perspective is very unique and like he goes really hard in producing these projects so yeah I'll give give you 21 but who else somebody says Kodak is Kodak a never miss type of nigga I wouldn't say that, and I'd probably say I wouldn't say that, even though he has an excuse for the project. I'm not saying they're misses. It just didn't hit the same. But most of them were jail projects. When he would get locked up for whatever amount of time, his label still put out projects when he's incarcerated. Them joints never really hit the same. And, you know what I mean? Again, I think the reason why Eternal Take was so wanted is because Uzi had a great track record before. I think certain artists fuck up their track record by doing too much. Do I say Roddy Rich? Okay. I'll give you Roddy Rich. I'll give you Roddy Rich. Gunna, I'm not going to give you Gunna. I think Gunna has missed before. Lil Baby? Lil Baby has missed before, but he's been on the on the most consistent and the... Like, he's like LeBron in a way, and I'm not saying he's LeBron in a rap game, but... You know, like, yo, you could you could criticize LeBron or, like, say, a Drake, but, like, his counterparts, they're not playing every year. They're not doing, like, you know what I mean? You have you have a, a little baby. He's putting up a lot of songs. He's putting out more songs than anybody at his level. So, yeah, there might be a miss. So I can't really, like, judge him for that. You feel me? <laughs> 